Welcome to the talk. Here's your update on the space race. Just as a recap for those out of the loop, the space race all began with a scientist named Goddard. He was the first to prove propulsion could take place in a vacuum. He launched the first liquid propelled rockets, but abandoned his experiments during World War II. This wasn't the end for rockets, though. Hired by Germany, von Braun developed the B-2 rockets during World War II. Von Braun is actually here today to talk about and explain a little more in depth about his rockets. Werner Von Braun, everybody. <laughs> and just as a surprise to all you in the audience, you guys all want a trip to Hawaii. Woo! <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. See, my, my V2 rockets, they were like a, a prototype for space race. Really? How so? V2 rockets were a basis for early American and Soviet rocket designs. What led up to your joining America? How did that become to be? Well, you see, I, I work in, in Germany, yeah? The Soviet, Soviet army come to, to Vaterland and you guys are uh, America. You, uh, you, have, you have this uh, uh, Operation Paperclip. Me, uh, me and my team, the Salander, we become citizens and V2 rockets are adapted. I, I become technical director of Army, U.S. Army Ballistic Weapon Program. Well, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Before NASA, I was a terrible tennis player. I could hardly lift those heavy rackets. But now, thanks to the technological advances of the space race, my racket is light as a feather. And I play tennis like a pro. Before the space race, little beavers would follow me home. People would confuse me for SpongeBob. And they'd even ask me to open their soda cans for them, like this. But because of the space race, I don't have those bulky, huge railroad tracks all over my teeth. And instead, I have this new lightweight, I can't even feel these braces anymore. Check them out. Welcome back to the talk. We are here with Mr. Werner Von Braun talking about the space race. So, tell me, what would you do in such a position of power? Well, I propose three-stage space travel idea. Step one, guided satellite. Step two, manned spa man space flights in space. Step three, flights to the moon and Mars. And your three-step plan successfully started off the space race? Uh, not, not exactly, no. Oh, what happened? Well, Soviet beat us to punch. They, they launched that, that Sputnik before we even get started. Oh, and then Sputnik 2 is in the air. So, we were very surprised. Uh, brought me, me as well. America, we, we, we were world's technological leaders in, during the Cold War. We, oh. But surely after the Sputnik, you put on your game face and got down to business, right? Yeah. No, not exactly. Please explain. Well, when we try uh, America, that is, we, we try two pound, two pound satellite, smaller than baby infant. And what happened? Five feet in air it flies, five feet! It, it flies kaboom, it goes five feet in the air, shameful failure. That's awful, what was done about that? Your, your, uh, co compress. Congress? Uh, yes, 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 Congress. Uh, well, it, 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 it approves space program to, to start, start, get off starting block. It, uh, it was called uh, um, NASA, right? Yes, yes. Now, this is where America gets ahead, right? Well, uh, see, NASA, yes, yes, but, but winning, no. The Soviet, Soviet keeps setting records. The, 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 the keep shamming, shamming United States scientific community. They, they, they keep. Uh, Isn't this where JFK says his famous words? 
land on the moon and return before the decade is out? Yes, the jerk! Then, but he, he never do it? He never tell me about deadline. He, he never tell me about no, no, no. He never give me warning and then say that the whole oh, jerk and My parents can't afford to buy me anything. Whatever I break, I repair with duct tape. But now, thanks to the space race, I have super glue. Thank you, space race. I'm good, right? Sergey Koyolov? Me? Oh, no, I am his assistant. I wish I was Mr. Koryolov. You see, Mr. Stalin only hires best rocket engineers in order to make best explosive missile stuff. The best of the best is my boss, Mr. Koryolov. He eventually became USSR's chief rocket engineer and... And... Oh, wait, I think I see him now. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Mother, I will come home and try the divorce later. Ah! See, I am at work at the moment. Oh, bye. Oh, you have my paperwork? Yes, and um, Mr. Cameraman is here to make a, uh, you know, film. Oh, film. hello there, nice camera person. <laughs> I take it you're making educational documentary video for the Soviet students? Oh. <clears throat> Welcome. As you may know, I am Sergei Korolyov, the owner of this fine laboratory. I am chief designer. <laughs> I don't like to be bragging, but uh, my, I, I mean, our first shuttle is almost complete. I call it Sputnik, which in the English roots means traveling companion. <laughs> A few more tweaks and tomorrow, October 4, oh, October 4, oh, this seems important. Oh. Hello? Mother, stop going, I'm working, I'm about to launch space program. I'm making educational video for children. Yes, today is October 3, 1957, tomorrow I'm launching a Sputnik. Okay, bye. Mothers. Prepare to launch Sputnik. Three, two, one. Launch. Uh, hmm. Go ahead, launch the second one. Von Braun, sir, Von Braun. Russia just launched two rockets and... Did you make brownies? No, they're not called brownies, they're called brownies. Sir, my name is Von Braun. Shut up. Sir, you've been doing nothing. No, I have not been doing nothing. I have been making brownies. First of all, your brownies are disgusting. Brownies. Oh, shut up. They are not disgusting. They are excellent, first of all. And second of all, America made me head of ballistic weapon program, remember? That program was ended. No, it never ended. We moved. Moved? Moved where? Follow me. Isn't this, um, this is your closet. Exactly, come on, get in, come on. You'll see, I keep extra rockets in here just for moments like this. There. Does that say, um, big sexy on it? Yes, exactly, after me. See, we launched this bad boy, 
and we smash the Soviets. Then we become Kaiser of Space. President. Yes, President of Space. Here's all that's left of your big sexy. My, my baby! This is all that's left? Are you sure? Certain. We will have morning day for you. Okay. Not that this isn't touching, but um, what are we gonna do now? Space race over? No. I guess we will go to Congress and ask them for space program. <laughs> Junk. Bills. Bills. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. They approved it, they approved our, our space program. NASA, what kind of name for a space program is NASA? Bon Bron. Yurika Gavin in the house! First man to pilot space shuttle. See late this dig? Spaceman. Tonight I'm taking Sasha out for a spin. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. I was up there for 25 hours and 18 minutes. You know how badly I have to pee? Get out of my face! Get out! I was up there for 34 hours and 20 minutes. Take that, German! Taking first step for Soviets. This is beyond my wildest dreams. Mother would be so proud. Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Houston, Columbia, 98, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. 